Okay, so this is a little video showing how to do uh, some data logging on the access port. Uh, I have the access port V2 here, but it works pretty similar on the V3. So you'll go into your monitor. Let's see if we can get a little better lighting. Monitor. You will go down to data log. First thing you want to do though is go down to set data log list and put in the parameters that uh, your tuner wants you to put in. They should give them to you. Uh, I know Matt Panda has a sticky up right now that has a list of stuff he wants logged and it will be in uh, an email too if you request it. So after that you go to data log you hit OK on that. And you want to choose a parameter that you want to watch. It might be different on the V3. Mine, I just set mine to charge air temp for instance. It doesn't really matter which one you put it on. So then once you're here it says underneath the temperature there not logging. So you press your OK button and it will say lo initializing and logging. Once that starts, once it shows a number in there is when it's actually logging. So now it's logging and you'll do your pull. For instance, a third gear pull on the street going from uh, either 1800, 2000 RPM all the way up to either 6000 or redline, whatever your tune request. Uh, Chris, or not Chris, sorry, Matt says uh, pull uh, 2,000 to 6,000 RPM. I usually just start a little bit lower. Man, about third gear, that's about 25 miles an hour to about, I think, 80, 85 miles an hour. Then once you're done logging, you just click it again. And that, that should be right when you hit like 6,000 RPM is when you want to click it. And that'll stop your data logging, it'll say not logging. And after that you go and you plug it in your computer, transfer the data log file to your computer, and then you email it out to your tuner, and they review it and send you a new file or tell you if you're all good to go. So that is how you do a data log on uh, the Cobb access port.